What if every choice you make is not truly yours? What if every decision you've ever made was predetermined, guided by unseen factors beyond your control? This is the provocative question at the heart of the concept of free will. The earliest perspectives on the matter lean towards determinism, a belief that every event, including human choices and actions, is the result of preceding causes. Causal determinism argues that every choice is an inevitable outcome of prior states of the brain dictated by genetics, environment and past experiences. In this view, free will is nothing more than an illusion. Biological determinism, a cousin of causal determinism, suggests that genetic and physiological factors heavily influence human behavior. Groundbreaking research in neuroscience reveals that brain activity can predict decisions even before we are consciously aware of them. This challenges the notion of free will, suggesting that our conscious choices may be predetermined by neural processes. Shifting the focus from biology to psychology, we encounter the theory of subconscious processes. This theory posits that a significant portion of our decision-making occurs at the subconscious level, with biases, desires and fears influencing our choices without our conscious awareness. This perspective suggests that our decisions are driven more by subconscious mechanisms than by autonomous, rational deliberation. Social conditioning, a sociological perspective, posits that cultural norms, values and expectations shape our behavior and beliefs from birth. The influences from family, education, media and peer groups can predetermine our choices, often without our conscious recognition, challenging the autonomy of individual will. The illusion of choice becomes even more apparent when we consider cognitive biases. Confirmation bias, for instance, leads individuals to favor information that confirms their preconceptions, limiting true freedom of thought and choice. These biases operate unconsciously, guiding our decisions in ways that compromise the concept of free will. In the digital age, predictive models developed through artificial intelligence and machine learning further challenge the notion of free will. These models analyze patterns in behavior and can forecast decisions, suggesting that human actions follow discernible deterministic patterns. If our behaviors can be anticipated based on prior data, then how free is our will? Despite these deterministic perspectives, some philosophical schools of thought maintain a belief in free will. Compatibilists argue that free will and determinism are not mutually exclusive. They redefine free will as the ability to act according to one's desires and intentions, even if those desires and intentions are determined by prior causes. On the other side of the spectrum, advocates of libertarian free will argue that individuals possess genuine autonomy with the ability to make choices independent of any prior causes or influences. So do we have free will or is it all an illusion? The debate over free will versus determinism remains unresolved with compelling arguments on both sides. While deterministic perspectives suggest that our choices are predestined by prior causes, psychological and social influences and subconscious processes, the concept of compatibilism offers a reconciliatory view. Ultimately, the question of free will touches upon fundamental aspects of human nature, autonomy and responsibility. Whether free will exists or not, understanding the factors that influence our decisions is crucial it encourages greater self-awareness and critical thinking, empowering individuals to navigate the complexities of human behavior and societal influence. Thank you for watching. May what we do today brings us a better tomorrow. For more interesting content, visit ardells.com, where variety meets in one place.